Hi, my name is Lisa London and I put together the Cooking Around the World series and the recipe that I'm going to show you how to make it's from Cooking in the Ozarks and it's called Seaman Loaf. Years ago I used to have a lady friend and she'd have the most fabulous parties and the first time I ever had this I was at her house and I just really loved it. She always served it with mashed potatoes and green peas. My mother never made it for me, but she told me that when she was married for my dad, that that was something that he really liked also. But I just used canned salmon. Then the first thing you do is you drain it. And even though it's canned, it still has all the omega-3s and all that kind of good stuff that they're always talking about. It's so good for you. And it comes out like that. And you kind of chop it up. It's got some little bones in it, but they're soft. And they're safe to eat and everything, so you don't have to worry about trying to take them out. So crunch it in like, like so. Then I pour the milk in. And you'll need an egg. Then mix that in. This is like a really easy recipe. I also found the recipe in a cookbook that my mother said that she used when she was married to my dad. And it had a sauce that went with it, which is just butter and lemon juice, which I make and really enjoy. Now, the lady friend that used to invite me to her house, she never made that. Of course, we're going to use cracks. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot this. Throw some onions in there. Okay, then you're going to want to put a little bit of lemon juice. And I like lots of pepper. And then you mix it up. Okay, then you see how it's got quite a bit of liquid in it. And that's where you put the crackers in. And the recipe my cookbook calls for a cup of crackers, which is pretty much so that you use enough so that it soaks up all the liquid. So you just kind of take them, crush them in your hands. Then this one. Okay, then you stir them up again. Kind of crush them down a little bit. Crush up the crackers with your fork.
you see how the crackers have soaked up the juice. Okay, then spray your pan. Oh, my God. these are so tough. Put it in the oven for about 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Thank you for watching.